No stay muffin. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I have a very special video for you guys. Today I'll be reviewing the Jurassic Park Breakout T-Rex by Chronicle Collectibles. one of the most sought after high-end Jurassic Park collectibles amongst Jurassic Park fans, dinosaur fans, even just collectors in general. And I've seen this pop up around social media a lot. I can't tell you how many times I've been sent pictures of how people have displayed theirs, pictures from online, and even people trying to make their own version of this display. In 1993, Universal Studios, together with Steven Spielberg, Stan Winston Studios, and sketches from lead concept designer Mark Crash McCreary, changed movie history forever with Jurassic Park, inspiring a whole generation of dinosaur lovers across the entire globe. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And if you are a Jurassic Park fan, then chances are your favorite scene from the entire movie is the road attack scene. When the Jurassic Park tour jeep stops in front of the Tyrannosaurus pen during a system sabotage, everyone's worst fears come to life when the prehistoric queen tests the non-powered electric fence and she comes crashing through. Ian, freeze! <laughs> <laughs> Chronicle Collectibles 120th scale statue features this exact moment when the female T-Rex lets out her triumphant roar after breaking out of her paddock. Boy, my head being right all the time. So let's see how this girl broke out of her box. To cradle something this special, obviously it's going to be boxed and packaged well. It comes in a 10 by 27 inch box and weighs approximately 15 pounds. Shoot her! See here, we have this stunning glossy box that is a work of art in itself, designed by Bob Lindemeyer with the Jurassic Park logo and an overturned tour jeep here. We have some great details of rain droplets, mud splatter, and the T-Rex shadow here to the side. Up on top, we have the engine logo, and to the side here, we have the quote from Dr. Grant. 65 million years of evolution have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. Taking everything out now, we can lift up this panel to reveal the fencing, which we will be assembling in just a moment. We have some nice touches on the fence here with a pair of status lights. And if we open the entire thing up, ah yes, we can finally see Rexy along with her base plate. The base is in the shape of Isa Nublar, which I think is super creative. And if you look at the T-Rex paddock symbol, you can actually see it matches up perfectly with this base. If we take a closer look here, we can see a lot of great details. Here's the cable track for the tour vehicles running parallel with the concrete moat wall, and the concrete has some placement holes that will hold our electric fence post. We also have some nice detail on the ground, giving us a muddy texture from the rain. And I even see some tire tracks in the tour vehicle, which feels like a little secret touch because I almost missed those. A pair of T-Rex footprints will guide us as to where our model will be placed. Clever girl. And on top of the mud towards the front, we have this weathered bronzy brass looking plaque with the Jurassic Park logo. And on the back here, we have our addition number out of a thousand units. So first things first, let's set up our fence. If you check out the Chronicle Collectibles YouTube channel, they actually have a very helpful video by creative director Paul Francis showing you how to set up your fencing. And I'll leave a link to this video in the description down below. I really like how you have to assemble the fence. It allows you to put your own unique touch to this piece and you can literally bend the wires any which way you like. And take the post with the longest wires with the longest end at the top and the shorter end on the bottom and prop that post into place. Then feed the wires through the eyelets and prop that post into place. Then push the peg onto the little hole here on the side to stabilize your fence. Now we can begin shaping our fence. You wanna be smooth when bending the wires and try not to make any sharp kinks to make it look as natural as possible. And we will put our other fence post in here and shape that how we like as well. Now we can finally put Rexy where she belongs. She has these little pegs at the bottom of her feet which fit into the holes in her footprints on the base. Yes! There we have it! Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. I have admired this girl from afar for too long and in person she is beautiful. So impressive up close. Dean Tolliver, the chief digital sculptor at Chronicle Collectibles, did a fantastic job on the sculpt. You can see all the little bumps and scales peppering her entire body, giving her that rough scaly texture. 
and I love these wrinkles and folds around her neck. She even has a bit of sheen on her to give her a more lifelike appearance, which is a nice touch. And her muscles are so impressive and toned. Nice arms, do you even lift, bro? We see that sheen again more prominently in the mouth and tongue, emulating saliva. And I love the detail on the ridges of the hard palette. I think that's a very nice touch that could have easily been overlooked. And we also have some gloss here on the membrane in between the two jaws. And her eyes are just so menacing and lifelike. And that yellow really pops out of those deep socketed eyes. Her feet are beautifully sculpted too with her claws and scale pattern down there. And I'm just a really big fan of the texturing on this girl. The little attentions to detail to the sculpt are just fantastic. And here we have the nice long tail with a beautiful paint job. And you know what? The paint job on her as a whole is just great. I mean, I couldn't paint a model to save my life really. And when you take one look at her, you know by her color and her sculpt instantly that this is Rexy. It's really cool to see like the old and the new together. And we also have Dr. Malcolm as a size comparison. Dr. Grant can join us today because he is minty fresh in a box. Look at that, he fits perfectly in her mouth. Bonus. So in case you're wondering, oh, do I have room for her in my house? Let me just give you some dimensions. So when she's all set up and everything like that, she's a good 15 inches high and her herself with her stand and just her, she's about nine inches high. The whole thing is about 23 to 24 inches long. And she is approximately with fence to like 11 inches wide. I am just so impressed with this display. I really appreciate that they included the fence. I personally think it really adds some movement and momentum to the piece and it doesn't feel like it's stagnant. This piece is just so impressive, especially in person. And I think that any Jurassic Park fan or dinosaur fan for that matter would not be disappointed to have this display piece in their collection. We've certainly waited a long time for some high end official Jurassic Park collectibles and especially a screen accurate depiction of Rexy. And I really believe that Chronicle delivered that for us. Chronicle Collectibles has produced some amazing displays like the one to one scale Velociraptor bust which I am just gaga over. There's Blue and Owen, there's Crash McCree's 1 to 1 baby raptors, and even a 1 to 5 scale T-Rex that's 7 feet long. Could you seriously imagine that in your house? For more information, you can check them out on their website, chroniclecollectibles.com, or follow them on their social media sites on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Since they are always thinking of new and upcoming products for the Jurassic Park line, I thought it'd be really cool to list any scenes, moments, dinosaurs, or characters you'd like to see Chronicle make in the comments down below. I think a Spinosaurus would be really cool, or a Dilophosaurus bust. Oh, that'd be really cool, Dilophosaurus bust. Because if you dream it, maybe it will come true. Because life uh, finds a way. And a giant, giant, dinosized thank you to the awesome team at Chronicle Collectibles for sending me this amazing piece to review. I can't wait to see what other products you guys come up with and what the future has in store for you guys. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, unless if I get invited for Chinese food. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary. Give